My name is Alex Puccio. I'm a professional rock climber. I started climbing when I was about 13 years old. I'm 26 now. Uh, my mom got me and my little sister and brother into it. My first time climbing, I would not go to the top of the wall. It was only 20 feet tall. I was terrified. Watching my little sister go to the top really encouraged me to get to the top of the wall. After that, I remember the climbing coach at the gym wanted my little sister to join the team. And he didn't want me because he thought I was too old and I, I, he couldn't mold me into a professional climber or a great climber. As I said, I'm very competitive, so I really wanted to prove him wrong. So I started climbing about five days a week, going to the gym on my own. After about a year, he allowed me on the team. And since then, I just never stopped. I grew this passion for climbing and the adventure part of it. I had no idea you could be a professional climber, but it happened and I feel like one of the luckiest people on this earth. I think that a lot of people and um, athletes, you know, all can relate on setbacks in life and what they do. And for me personally, I went through a major injury about five and a half months ago. I tore my ACL completely, my meniscus and my MCL, and I had to have surgery two weeks later. I thought I was going to be out for a year. I remember laying on the ground, screaming, crying. I thought my career was over. The road to recovery has been, I would say, easier and harder than I expected. There's moments where I'm like, oh, this sucks. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. And then moments where I'm like, wow, I'm already climbing and it's two months later and I feel really lucky for that. Every time you have a setback, there's going to be up and down and this is where you have to be really patient and value every aspect of it and learn from it. A little while ago, I started using Kayani products and I love that a lot of their supplements, the ingredients in them are wild and organic and that has helped tremendously. Uh, on top of that, I like to eat right. I like to have a lot of greens and vegetables. You can honestly feel the difference. You can feel it in your mind, in your body, and it's what you put in your body is gonna help you achieve your goals, so why not use the best? To climb in general, and especially climb something like ancient art, it takes a lot of uh, energy, mind power. Every morning, I like to start off by taking the sunrise, and that really helps not build up lactic acid because it's so rich in antioxidants. Um, on top of that, I like to take nitro because that helps my muscles absorb all the antioxidants that I'm taking with the sunrise and it gives me an amazing energy boost and today you really want energy for this climb. Fear is a big part of climbing and I think anything that I do and especially coming back from injury right now. I definitely get scared of heights surprisingly and I had to overcome that. I think I, you just have to be brave and realize, just do it because you know, after you're done, you're so happy and proud of yourself that you overcame your fears. And I think that's what makes me go on and on every time. Go Cayenne!